So in this video, you'll learn how to display the screen refresh rate on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So in order for you to do this, you have to start by enabling developer options. And if you don't know how to do that, let me show you how to. Simply open the settings app, then you want to scroll and select about phone, tap on software information, then look for the build number and tap on it seven times until you enable developer options. If you have a pin, password or pattern, simply enter it in to confirm that you wish to enter developer mode. Once you've done that, you then want to go back to the main settings menu. And then from here, go to the bottom and underneath about phone, you should see developer options. So now that you've successfully enabled and selected the developer options, it's time to show the screen refresh rate. So all you need to do is simply scroll through the different settings, or you can choose to use the search function and you want to find show refresh rate. So if you decide to use the search function, then just tap here and then select show refresh rate. And then you want to scroll through the different results until you find this option underneath the developer options. So you can just tap on it and it will direct you to the setting right there on your screen. And all you need to do is just tap on the toggle to turn it on. Alternatively, you can always just scroll through the different developer options settings until you find show refresh rate. So once you find it, just tap on the toggle like that. And now you can see the refresh rate is being displayed on your screen. So currently it's set to null because nothing is moving on my screen. But you'll notice that if you perform actions on the screen, you can see the refresh rate appearing. And it's set to 120 because that's my current uh, refresh rate on my phone. If you had set it to something complete, uh, the other option on your settings app. So for example, if you had changed the display refresh rate to something different, like 60 hertz. So if you go to motion smoothness, select standard and tap on apply, you can see the refresh rate has automatically adjusted to what you've just selected. So it's completely up to you to decide which refresh rate you prefer to use so that you can see what the refresh rate is like when it's being displayed on your phone. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.